Hi, it's Cake of Kristen, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get this skull makeup look right here. And this is part three of my Halloween lookbook, so if you want to see the other two, I'll go ahead and put those in the description box below. I'm going to dip into my Mayron face paint palette into white and this is water activated. I'm going to use a eyeliner brush to map out where I want the teeth to be of the skull and I'm using this picture as a reference. Here I'm just looking at the other side of my face so that I can make both sides even. Now I'm mapping out the bottom gum lines and then filling in that whole portion with white paint. And I'm using an eyebrow brush to do this, but any flat brush will work. Right here I'm dry brushing, which means I'm just using what's left on my brush, not dipping into paint or water, and blending out the paint and mapping out where I want the top gum lines to be. Using that same palette, I'm dipping into black to shade in where I want the shadows to be. Next, I'm dipping into Black Truffle from my Rose Gold Palette by Huda Beauty and I'm using a small smudge brush to smudge out the black paint and blend that in. And I figured I put too much black on the top so I'm just taking a makeup wipe and wiping off some of the black from the top part and then going into Coco and adding some more shadows. And I added some white paint for the highlights. After I'm dipping into suede and mapping out where I want the cheekbones to be. This is only my second time ever trying to do a skull so I didn't know exactly what I was doing. I was just kind of going with the flow but I would definitely keep in mind the structure of your own face for placement of um, like cheekbones or the mouth and any other features of a skull I guess. After blending that out with a small tapered brush, I'm dipping back into black truffle and blending that out on the edges. Now I'm mapping out the teeth with some black paint. Not the greatest at drawing teeth, but you can use your own teeth for reference or you can always look at a picture. For the second half, I'm dipping into some gray paint because I didn't know exactly how I wanted the teeth to look. And then after I mapped that out, I went back in with the black paint. Next, I'm doing some more dry brushing with a small flat brush and blending out that white paint all the way to the edge. Then I'm adding some of that same brown and black eyeshadows and then dry brushing some black paint onto my chin and blending that in. I'm adding more black paint on a detailed brush to add some shadows to the bottom gum line. 
Then I'm just taking some more of that black eyeshadow and adding some shadows all around the gum lines and adding some more paint, or some more white paint and blending that in with my finger. Now I'm taking a bigger flat brush and dipping back into cocoa and adding some more shadows under the hollows of the cheeks. Here I'm just adding some more black paint and then dry brushing and blending that out. Here I'm just adding some black eyeshadow on an eyeliner brush and blending the top of the tooth upwards. I am drawing in some more teeth and I am drawing them smaller and smaller to make it look like it's going towards the back of the mouth. Now I'm adding some more shadows to the top and sides of the teeth. Now I'm adding a little bit of black eyeshadow to the sides of the teeth to make it look like it's going back even further. Then I'm adding some highlights to the teeth and gums. Blending out the paint a little bit more and then adding some more black eyeshadow. Drawing in a nose and filling that in, and for the tops, I'm making it uneven. I'm blending the black a little bit more with a small tapered brush and dry brushing in some more white paint to blend in more with my skin. Now I'm mixing that brown and gray eyeshadow and applying that under my eyes and also in the crease under my eyebrows. I'm creating wrinkles with some gray and black eyeshadows to make it look like I'm more angry. I'm also adding some black eyeshadow to the edges of the nose to make it look more smoky.
So my camera died in the middle of filming, so I wasn't able to show you guys what I did for this, but I basically just shaded it the same how I did this little section right here. And I just added some brown and gray shading right here on the outside of the little divots and added some black shadow here, here, um, more under my eye, and more right here. And then I added some more highlights on the teeth and um, right here, like on the outside of the black. This is the final look. Sorry, I lost some footage, but I hope you liked this anyway. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are not already. And also hit that notification button if you want to be notified of when I release new videos. Stay caked, stay fierce, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!